ladies and gentlemen on YouTube. Here we are. We are about to go get some logs with our Kenworth truck worth note. <laughs> this thing's awesome. It's so freaking huge. Looks like it's got all these lights on in the cab, though. That maybe isn't good. It's broken. So we kind of need to follow the same road that we were on before. And then we're going to go across that bridge. Get that log trailer out. Yep. Okay. So this is really what this truck was made for. Heavy logging and stuff like that. All right. Um, yep. And then I know, I think in FS17, they patched it. So after the patch, you could no longer pick up straw. At first you could, but then you they changed it. Which... I think that's realistic, but still kind of frustrating. I'm not sure why I have pickup points on the map, but that's not what I'm doing. Let me look real quick here. We are going to go down. Yep. And across the bridge. Yep. Okay. So we'll get a little in the cab time with our Kenworth. And this looks just like the, was it, the W900 on this American Truck Sim? The cab is almost identical to the, the original W900. So it feels just like home. Oh, that's why we were running the highway, because this has always on diff locks. So you don't, well, I like having the low gears anyway, but that's just me. Yeah, this is like the ultimate logging truck. You said we need 12 total for logs, Javius? Or, um, I mean, planks? Yes. So I'll be making, I'll be making eight with this truck load. We already made 12. We did? Mm hmm Oh. <laughs> so this is not... Well. Now, now is not the time to have told us that, Michael, when we were talking about making, getting wood ready for this job. That was the time to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use like, it's like, okay, I'll bring him over anyway. We'll just make a couple more. <laughs> no, I'm not bringing them. I got, other, I got stuff to do. You got, you're like, I'm busy, man. I am. Well, no, I thought you said you were going to use them. No, I, I'll use them. For a couple of jobs over here. Oh, right, 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 right. I'm just saying I'll make more, so. So we'll have eight more in stock. Is that, you think that'll be enough? Well, we need 12. As long as we have 12. Ah, oh, that's cool. Well, that's really neat, Sandhill. You're like, by the way, could you? Now, this is where this truck struggles. We're empty, and it is slowing way down going up the hill. And that is its weak point. So, are we going to need fuel at the... At the sawmill? I don't think so. Wow, look at this thing struggle. Man, it's getting there. Oh, it's because I had it in low. Never mind. <laughs> okay, why? What is going on around me here? I don't know why I have all these up arrow thingies. Get? Can we look at something different here? I don't. I'm tired of seeing this. No. Nope. That's because we got the wrong job up there. Yeah, I do. It's restoring the tracks. There we go. All right, that clears it up a little bit. Now, I guess that's about top speed right there. Wow, this wooded area is kind of in a... This road is scary. It's not... I mean, this truck's not having any trouble with it, but the road is pretty uh, backwoodsy. Oh, interesting. Interesting. 
Yeah, I there is wood framing. You could do it that way too. But I mean, this gets us a lot of lumber pretty quick, and then you only have to pick up from one spot. I picked up all the wood framing on this map except for the one spot over there where I couldn't get to because the bridge wasn't built. Oh, okay. And there's the other answer. He's got it all already. So how many more missions do you think we have to build the rails for? Is this it? I hope so. I mean, there was a total of six sections that we had to build in the place. I think I just heard an airplane go over. Is that a thing on this map? You guys hear that? Maybe. I took my headphones off. It wasn't in real life. Thank you, Captain Mac. All right, here's the logging kiosk. We have to go around the back here, I guess. There we go. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Man, I miss playing Flight Sim. I haven't played it in weeks. Hopefully we have good internet where we're going and I'll be able to continue to play it. If we have crappy internet, Flight Sim is so like internet dependent because it has to download the data as you're flying. It does? Wow. Yep. Have you ever had it where it kicks? You know, you see, you don't play it very often, so it'll actually kick the... It'll. It'll keep playing, but it kicks the, the scenery down to like super low level and they look terrible. It's like, we've turned off satellite streaming because your internet's too slow. And it's like, oh, yeah. Um, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Come on, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Jay Wall? I've got the motor upgrade already. Yeah, it has an offline mode, but it looks like crap. It's not a good thing. Oh, come on, baby. 44. Oh, no. What's up? Oh. Uh. No. That's funny, Sandhill. Oh, come on, big truck. Okay, yeah, this is a little better at logging than the Paystar. <laughs> I still love the Paystar, though. Look at that poor little trailer behind me. I need a big trailer to match the, the giant size of this thing, this beast. Hey, what's <laughs> welcome back, Fizzy Banks? Yeah, I wonder where everybody went. So, I mean, slowly but surely, Jay, we got seven days left, and I'm feeling like, man, we are never going to get this done. But we're doing the best we can. We'll get it as far along as we can and just have to go with it, I guess. <laughs> right. All right. So we need to go up to. I'm trying to see where the best way to get this sawmill is. Javius has already had the sawmill. Look at that. We're going to go, I guess, across the bridge. We could go in through the rail production and out the back. Okay. So the monster. Okay, yo, they are. They're, they've been here the last couple of days, Jay, but there's still so much to do. Uh, the the Kenworth is... Where does this come from, Javius? Do you remember? It's not from this map. It's from... 
What was the key? From the burnt one, it was the one after Ontario. No, that one. No. Ontario. Um, was it British Columbia? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Jaywa. Let's take a look here. Is this where we're turning? Yeah, we could go that way. <laughs> we could take a risk and take the beach there. Uh, the engine, yeah, with the big engine, yep. Yeah, it's a it is a it's a good truck. It's one of those big trucks, though. It gets decent mileage, but it's also really heavy, and so it has a hard time pulling stuff uphill. So, like, if you get into really steep hills, it can be a problem. Man, I, I probably am going to regret this, but it seems like the best way to go. No, no, what do you no, 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 don't don't no, really stay on the path. Okay. Oh no! All right, it's there if you want to try it. I mean, do you I see didn't a realize that I didn't see a path all oh. the way through there? Uh, yeah, I think it goes. I mean, do we really need a path? <laughs> oh, I see. That's funny seeing hill. I had a. I've had some crazy dreams the last couple of days. <laughs> I wanted to share the one that I had last night, but I can't remember it now. <laughs> Dang it. It was pretty funny and weird, but it had to do with something with driving off road and flying airplanes. Mm. This is this is definitely a risk because the road is canted pretty badly to the left. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how these end. We'll see. It could go well. It could go terrible. You are right. I mean, it's. Once again, that's why I said this is a risk. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, yeah. this And that's the nice thing about this truck. Because it's underpowered, it, it gets pretty good mileage. I'm just going to keep it in low plus. I'm not going to race. We could get a little faster, but there's no point. No need to hurry. And this sand is pretty well packed down. It's not as soft as I thought it would be, so. Oh, not that drone. No, it's good. Yeah, I'm not saying, well, because of the big knobby tires or bu bubbly tires. Yeah. She's quite happy. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I go to the say that that does not look like a road that looks like a ridge, but there's a path this way. So we'll go there. It's straight ahead of us. Um, yeah, I did. Th I did three videos so far, Jay. I haven't had time to make another one yet, but I am planning on doing one tonight after we stream. So. I'll probably be on for another 40 minutes or so and then I will uh, try to make an expeditions video before I go to bed tonight just more of like a overview type thing because we did we basically played around with the early access I'd like to do a first impressions video like kind of how I feel about the game so far <laughs> things that are good things that are bad That's right. Oh, I could do it anyway, because we bought it. Captain Mac bought it for me, so there was no NDA or anything like that. I don't... I can say anything I want. Oh, no. Come on, baby. Oh, Lord. How close are we? Okay, so this is one thing I did not calculate. Uh, all right. And here's the problem with this truck. So we're going to have to come back for that second trailer because this I got enough power to get myself up the hill, but not the loaded trailer. 
Yeah, these are the tires that come on this truck, yes. But that's not why we stopped. It just because it just doesn't have enough power to pull. That's with the best motor. So uh, we've had how many flips? Somebody's keeping count. I think Red Alpha's got. I think we have one flip on count on record. Yeah, one flip. Yeah. <laughs> but we're working. We're working hard on number two here. Come on, get up the hill. In real life, we have we would have burned the the clutch out, slacker. The clutch would already be smoked at this point. No, and that's a that is a known thing with these trucks. They are they are not climbers. Uh, they're not very good at climbing at all. I'm hoping that I'll be able to go down and get the trailer and bring it back up. that the extra weight of the trailer won't be too much for it. Yeah, now we need tire deflation, right? No, deflation wouldn't have helped that. There was just not enough. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa, that's a long comment. <laughs> so this truck was a, a, a desert truck. All right. Well, that's why it has the big tires. Wait, why is it so much? Cody, that's crazy. Why Why is the internet that much? $400 the first month and $300 a month. Usually that's the other way around. They charge you less the first month and then... That sounds totally... Yeah, there's an airplane flying over. That's totally backwards. Yeah, I'd stick with the three. That's horrible. Where's that at? I love pro I love companies that tell you that there's no cap and then you get them and they're like, but there's a cap. It's like, well, you said there was no cap. Uh, yeah, where is that Sand Hill? Where I mean, you don't have to tell us exactly where you're located, but where like what area is that in? Like what state? Yeah, what state? There you go. Javius, can I steal this the semi truck that has the flatbed to pull that other trailer up? I don't think this truck, eh. What do you think? I don't, I don't think that's gonna really make a difference. When it's empty and it's got no all wheel drive, I don't think it's gonna. Okay, all right. Do super well. Weird, that's crazy too. Well, Nebraska, four, three hundred dollars a month. What? How did you? How did? That seems impossible because, I mean, internet everywhere is like ninety bucks a month. How are they charging that much and actually having any business? That's even that even seems crazy expensive. I mean, we have we have a thousand up, a thousand down, and it's a hundred a month. It's ninety nine bucks a month. But then again, we have a lot of competition in the area, so maybe that's the difference. That makes me frightened for where I'm going. <laughs> uh, I know a, Spectrum services the town, so I'm hoping that we can get Spectrum because it's they have a thousand megabit connection. So I'm hoping that we can get that where we're going to be, but. If we get that property. Right, because if you can go, well, I'll just take this instead, then it drops the price. Oh. Uh oh. Hey, 44, what's going on? That's that, but that is true. Heard you were doing some sniper elite. So what happened, Mr. Micah? I heard a, oh. I can't refuel. Do you need me to come refuel you? If you don't mind. Yeah, not at all. Um, let's see, where are you, which map are you on? I am in the first map. Okay, uh, and what truck? 
Uh, the Zix and the Voron. They're right next to each other. I need to fill them both up with okay. the, uh, the Zix. What's up, Gator? You want to drive this truck back to your garage? There's Which like one? A rock crawler. There's a scout truck sitting up on it. Oh, yeah, whatever. I can get it later. I, I can just... Uh... No, I don't want to recover. I want to refuel. I'm going to see a Zix. And then we're going to pick the Voron. I just used it from your supplies. Is that okay? Yeah. I mean, there's a big tanker right there. <laughs> You're right. That's what I, yeah, that's what I was using. I was... All right. Uh, and so then let me go back there. Okay, you're all fueled up, and I'm going to go back to the map. And I'll tell you when I'm out. Hang on. Give me a second here to to get the Vorons free. I'm going to. It would have been nice if they would have took some time to fix that instead of a whole, make a whole other game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do, Gator. You definitely need to reinstall this game because it's the best ever. How can this be afternoon? It's like the sun's already gone down. So RC tractor tra now they're expensive. Are you fizzy? Are you you got some money? Because <laughs> they ain't cheap. What's up? What's up, Superman, Sammy? Um, there you go, Jay. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to keep up. We missed a bunch of comments. The GMC could have got it done. Yes, it could have. I agree. Probably with both trailers too, um, and probably the with the, maybe with a tip though. Uh, okay, so I would say probably horizonhobby.com um, is going to be the place to get the, the parts. You're looking at about five or $600 for the truck. If you want to get, like the, for the tractor, if you want to get the, um, the lights and sound kit, you're looking at probably more like $1,000 uh, all said and told, to all, all said and done. Um, I know they're freaking, exp the semi trucks are the most expensive RC vehicles that there are because you have several parts working parts that go with it. No, I want attached trailer uh, Too far away And then the trip you can expect to get the trailers for about um, Three or four hundred dollars if you uh, there's a couple cool videos that a guy made called Matteo Or Mateo, I think is how you pronounce his name I think it was Mateo. Meyer it's Mateo Meyer and he's got a, a couple Road King videos with some of the semi haulers. He's in Switzerland and he makes some cool videos. But he, I think he kind of stopped making videos. He hasn't done, he hasn't released anything for like six months. So I'm hoping he's okay, but he just doesn't seem to be doing much anymore. But he used to do tons of RC videos. Uh, and it's all, it's all Tamiya stuff. So Tamiya is the one that, Tamiya is the one that makes all the trucks, really. And uh, you can have Euro trucks or American trucks. They make both. But they only sell them at certain times. So, like, this year, they'll make, like, two American models and two European models. And then those will be available for a couple years. And then they'll stop selling those. And they'll release, like, two new ones or three new ones. So, you kind of got If you like, if you see one you like, it's always best to get it earlier than later. Yeah, the helicopters uh, nowadays. Helicopters are cheap. Though I'm trying to remember, Gator. There's one I would recommend to start with uh, if you're going to do like. Well, I'd recommend with a, a, a little tiny one to start with. The the MCP is a good one. I'm not sure what Blade offers anymore. They've changed some of the stuff, but there you go. <laughs> Long haulers buying the real thing. A real helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Walmart, the $30 ones. No, there's a couple of good hobby grade ones that are out there um, to get started with to learn how to fly. But I don't, I can't remember the, the names. They have weird numbers and stuff. But I have a, a 200 size helicopter that I got. And it was, I think, like $250. So, but for that money, it's like the best built small helicopter you can get. And man, is the thing awesome. It, it's just a, an amazing helicopter. So it flies so well and it sounds like a real helicopter when it's flying it because it's really? yeah like when you, when you change course and stuff it's like it's like, I'm like yeah <laughs> it's still electric you know it's not it doesn't have like but it's it's small 
It does not auto. -ro I mean, you could auto rotate it, but I wouldn't because I'd probably wreck it. <laughs> the 900, your favorite truck. Yeah. That's the best way to do it, though, Gator. Inside is actually the best place to learn to fly. But then you got to make sure, especially with the helicopters, that there's not a lot of wind. Uh, I'd move to a battery one first before you go nitro. And just understand, too, that the nitro ones are usually you have to do all the programming yourself. Um, but I will say this. 25 years ago, RC helicopters, nightmare. Because they there were there was no such thing as gyro stabilization. You were on your own. You had to really fly it like a real helicopter, and people wrecked them all the time because they were very difficult to fly. But nowadays, with with uh, all the gyro stabilization that you can get, it makes a huge difference in how the helicopters handle. They are so much easier now than they used to be. Um, and I think I'm turning down the wrong road. Where am I? No, I'm going. Okay, yep, it's this to the left. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't particularly like nitro except for you can fly for a lot longer, but there's so much maintenance. But if you know how to maintain that gator, then that's probably the way to go. But it's also expensive. So if I wreck my helicopter, I'm out 200 bucks. If you wreck yours, you're out like a thousand. <laughs> so that's a, yeah, that's right. Jay. Well, so. But the, the new technology, some of these electric helicopters, they're, I, I can fly it, and I'm not very good at flying the helicopters. And I, I, I get that thing going about 20, 25 miles an hour and whip it around and fly sideways and stuff. Like, it's really cool. Oh, those dragsters? Yeah, those are cool. <laughs> Traxxas makes those. They're, they go like 100 miles an hour. Those are pretty freaking cool. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I don't want... Why is it loading by itself? That was weird. Okay, so we are done with these logs so i don't know does who needs logs from the the log facility because they're there now you mean like our planks are ready or will be ready yeah i will take those okay they're they're all yours i'm gonna get turned around here and get this truck serviced and you don't have to worry about going back for the third load of logs because here i am with it <laughs> yeah, I think the grand hauler basically just is um uh the is a Kenworth 990, I think. Now, the other thing, the other place you could check and I don't know how they're they're tied in with Horizon Hobby now, but they still have their own website. Uh Tower Hobbies is the other one. Tower Hobbies went out of business and Horizon bought them out, but they still sell unique products. So try looking on Tower Hobbies and see if they have some Kenworth stuff. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's if you're afraid of heights, probably learning to fly would not be the great thing to do. Yeah, I've seen those dual battery ones, Gator. Those are pretty funny. Yeah, so try uh, www.towerhobbies.com. Once again, it's it may just take you back to the Horizon, but they might have other products available on that site. So, it's funny, like the way that the the hobby goes. Some sometimes, um, oh, I hear them going. Uh, so sometimes. My brain just went blank. Sorry. What were we talking about? Helicopters? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, the, like the, the, the hobby in general, like the things that come and go. Like there was, I'm going to change it to daytime, guys. Hold on a second. I'm stopping Javius, just so you know. Um, how do I switch it? Skip time. No, I'm used to, I'm pressing buttons from the other game now. Um, When I first started flying, there was literally like 25 different World War I biplanes available. And I always wanted to get one of them. They were all like mid-size, like, like a 15 or 20 inch wingspan, maybe 20 inch wingspan. So not huge, but not too small. And they are gone. Nobody makes them anymore. None. There's none. There's literally not like a single World War One aircraft available out there. I don't know what happened, 
but he, maybe they just overdid him and, and but it's like time and so i think what's going to happen probably the next couple of years we'll start seeing them come back to the market again but it was really weird Stop, what Can you oh sure right there, please? <laughs> You're very slow. yeah sorry this is night two of this job and i'd like to get it done Did <laughs> episode 17 on the same job Uh, where do I need to go? Am I going the same way as him? Right. Okay. Right. Yep. So we're going through the thing. Yeah. I mean, I love flying. I am. I don't want to say that I'm super scared of heights, but I don't like ladders and stuff like that. So, like, I, I was doing a video for one of my friends. Um for his business and I had to climb up on a roof <laughs> like with all my gear and his guys helped me carry the gear up but I was like I had to get it myself up there and I'm like he's like you're not gonna fall and I'm like okay that makes me feel better but I made it the hardest part was transitioning from the ladder to the roof and then transitioning back from the roof to the ladder that was frightening The right gator, exactly. That's how I feel, so. All those sounds, they are good sounds. They're sounds of men working, industry. I'm going to keep going straight, Javius, to stay out of your way. Yep, and the, now also another place that you can't, let's see, you couldn't use your drone. No, because they had some stuff they wanted to do up there. Um, and so, it was a trading video, that's what it was. I don't remember what we were doing. Um, so, if you look, you might be able to find that stuff on RC Four Wheel Drive. Fizzy Banks, it's all one word, it's RC4WD. And uh, they may have all the things that you need to make them look like Kenworth. I don't know. They have a lot of sticker sets and stuff. So that's right, Red Alpha. So Arthur, when you get that guy back to yes. the garage, would you grab a two slaughter and come out and get the last pair of planks? I sure will. I'm going to go get five more, but then I can start hauling rails and you can you help the last of the planks and yep. can just keep trucking rails go for it let's get this done or unless you want to truck rails but they're five slaughters well if we I'll help you get the planks and then once I'm done with that I can switch over to something that'll help do the rails so that was fun to take the Kenworth out good job Kenny I need to find the trailer store, which is not here. It's right. No. <sighs> yep. I was more concerned about running into the building there for a sec. Surprised how well this truck is doing. It's great. It's a great truck. Wait, which one is that? That's the Kenworth, right? Yeah. All right. And we're going to recover this and we're going to sell it or keep it. We'll just keep it for now. Uh, truck store. All right. We need a double slaughter. Simple truck. Nothing fancy. Sell all of your trucks after every session? No. I don't know why I did, but I did sell some of them. Like all of them. Um, all right. <laughs> no, I usually leave them parked in the garage, but for some reason I dumped them. So planks on a two slaughter. Come on, Arthur. Brain faster. Go. There we go. Defense. Customize frame add-ons. Yeah. Sideboard bed. That works great. Uh, engine. Best engine. Gearbox off-road. Suspension, raised, 
Ooh, active. Nah. And Mac Defense tires are just fine. Diff lock engageable, snorkel, intake. Yep. Oh, no, it's all front facing. That's it. Frame add ons. We got that already. Good to go. Okay. Rooftop, lights. Ooh, lights and there we go. Okay, I'm on my way. Leave garage. Fastest truck purchase ever. The defense comes with. That's the other truck I think that comes with British Columbia, right? Um, the house cleaning is almost done 44. Uh, I've got, I'm working on the basement now, but the backyard is our next big project. That is a disaster. I'm picking them up from the sawmill, correct? So I'm trying to see, go to the right crossover. Yeah, the, the place you just came from. Okay. They're the, already made. Okay. Yep, so we have, we're almost done with that. Um, I do have to steam clean the carpets one more time. That will be happening tomorrow. My friend had a rug doctor. She bought a rug doctor. I'm like, dude, can I borrow that? She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, so I've got a rug doctor to, to do the carpets. That should really fix them up. They don't smell anymore, though, so that's good. So I'm going to do the upstairs uh, with the carpet blaster, hopefully tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, and then we're painting, so... We're in that phase, but the backyard is a huge mess, and we're, we're about a quarter of the way done with that. So that's that's a big project in itself. So we're working on it. It's getting there. It's got to be done. <laughs> I have two rooms that won't be done in time for the realtors. Uh, they have to have wallpaper stripped and then repainted. I've got a friend who's a professional who's coming over to help us because the wallpapers were not sized correctly. So it's basically just ripping the paper off the drywall. So my wife was like, it's down to the bricks. I'm like, what do you mean by bricks? And so I called my friend and he's like, oh, Lord, like, goodness, that's like going to be like a I'm like, well, I could pay you for it as soon as I sell the house. But we need to get these rooms done so that they're, you know, they may not be showable. Like people can see the rooms and see what they're like and see that they're under construction, but that we're going to finish it before the house is done before we leave. So as long as they know that, like, hey, these rooms are getting refinished so that they're movable like they'll be i think they'll be okay with that so that's the best we can do yeah i don't have to hire a photographer because voila and uh They'll be able to see that. I think the house will sell well. I mean, we are in a great location. We have nobody in our backyard. It's basically like, except for it's all muddy. It's it is really a nice plot because you will because it's an easement and then there's railroad tracks. You'll never have anybody building houses back there. So I know they're crazy right now, Gator. I did miss the sawmill. Dang it! How did I? Urgh. Trying to prove Javius wrong, and instead I'm just proving him right. Yeah, our area, the median house price is 450. Six bed or five bedroom homes in my area are going for 550, and I've got a six bedroom, but it's smaller. So, super Superman Sammy, we have found a place that we would like. As long as the house goes for a decent amount of money, we're just going to buy it outright. Otherwise, I'll be living in a trailer <laughs> or something. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> But yes, uh, we did find a place. There's a plot of land in a place called Carlisle, Kentucky. Uh, it's, it's outside of town, about 10 miles, but it's uh, it's on a it's a nice 27 uh, acre plot of land. And it's got a. Uh, yeah, we would not be doing a trailer park. There's no way we could do that with the amount of dogs that we have and stuff. No, making sure I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. OK. Come on, baby. Kick it up. So, yeah. No trailer park, but it'll be good. So, 
so yeah and no no we're gonna be living this this property it's a it's a it's a double wide so it's a trailer even on this property um but i'm fine with that i don't as long as we have a roof over our heads and then you know there we go yep i get it. a lot of my viewers are from tennessee which is kind of crazy Oh, I want to pick these up. Yeah, you need to put them in the truck, yeah, not on the dock. Did I put them on the dock? I did. There's one on the dock. Dang it. I put that one there. Okay. I wasn't sure of it. I think you take the fall for that. Okay. <laughs> what I would like to do, if we have enough money, I would like to put a nice double wide on the property somewhere up the hill. And that's what we would live in. And then I would turn the other one into my office. Wait, a $200,000 double wide? Where are you getting those from? <laughs> we were seeing double wides for like 50, 60,000 bucks. That sounds really expensive, a $200,000 one. But maybe that's all said and told, I don't know. But yeah, there's some really nice double wides out there. But 200,000? Oh, 200 with the land included. Yeah, see, but that's you're buying in Florida, right? That's what I'm saying. Like in Kentucky, we're looking at 27 acres, a double wide and a crappy barn for one 127. So yeah, I was going to say, now I just got what he was saying, yep. Pouring foundation and installation, yeah. Yeah, it's expensive. Installation is the killer, isn't it? <laughs> the foundation and the the utilities. Though we the, the property that we're looking at has the utilities, thankfully, already. So the electric's, the electric's already there. It's already got water. So... I sure hope so, 44. I, I mean, it's definitely at the top of the list in my plans. And there's the good news for you is it works out for both scenarios. If we have enough, there's like this median place where it's not going to work. But if we get a decent amount of money, pickup truck for sure. If we don't get enough money to survive, well, then pickup truck for sure, because we're going to have to have something to tow our motor home <laughs> or our trailer or trailer home. Um, yeah, so either way, it's looking good for the truck, <laughs> but no, I, I can't promise yet. We have to see once again, how things work out. There's like that middle ground where it's going to be like, well, that's probably just not going to work. So, or just share it with them and you guys can all have trailers on it. How many acres does he have? And where are they? That's Pennsylvania. Right. Correct. That's right. But I, like I said, there's a, there's a good, there's a very good possibility that that's what we're going to do. So I don't want a van down by the river. I really, really am trying to avoid that. Yeah. Yeah. That would not be good with a baby. Can't really do that. Need to have water, water facilities somehow. Down by the river. Well, <laughs> That's a good point. It'd be okay in Southern California. <laughs> it's probably all you could do. Yeah, those. I had a friend that used to live out of a, a Sprinter van. Believe it or not, he uh, he he went to our church, and he's kind of a goofy guy. He's a plumber, and he he did a, you know a lot of good work, and people really liked his work. But he didn't. He's like, I don't need a house. He had a motorcycle and everything. He put it. He'd bring it up into the trailer at night so it wouldn't get stolen. But that you know, he'd been going to church there for a couple of years, and he decided to move into this van. And the pastor was like, Yeah, you can park up here. So he just lived on the church property with his van. <laughs> he would fix things around the church as a as a what do you call it like a payment to. Ooh, what was that for? Good job, Micah. Complete that mission, finally. All right, I'm pulling in here. That's good. I'm almost back. Uh, one. Uh, stop. Okay. Um, I've put the planks into the thing, and I'm going to recover and get a 
She said a five slider, right? You don't have to. Oh, because yeah, you're also the other ones. Oh, order, just one left. Well, look at you. Unless you want to deliver the last one and take all the glory. That's no, fine. no, no. You have worked really hard on this. <laughs> you, you have, you've earned your keep, so you can take the glory. Let me know how close we're getting, though. I'm gonna. How far away are we from the glory? You're like. Um, but, I'm, I'm gonna load it up right now. You're loading it up, but you're not. That's like to take it there, right? No off road. I'm trying to get out there with my truck again. My right, trailer's loaded. Okay. There's a tra one of those sitting out in the yard, isn't there? Oh, that's the other map. Never mind. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I'm. But I'm having fun too, and I shouldn't. Front side. Ankle with beacons, whatever That's rooftop. Right. You should not be having fun. This is serious. This is, serious. this is work. This is it, boys. This is war. The president is on the line. <laughs> That's pretty audacious paint. Uh, what did I miss? We got the. There we go. 99 red balloons go by. Um, we'll go with the really ugly paint just for fun. All right. Jeevious, I'm on my way. Where are we going with this? He's already. Garage, turn right, turn left at the first dirt road. Okay, I'm coming. That's absolutely fine, Gator. Sometimes you need a little break. 12th gen Intel Mini TX Bordeaux. Do, 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 do. I just trashed one of those. What's that? Lone Star? No, or or Fleet Star? 12th gen Mini ITX board. Okay. I think mine's a full size. I farfig nuganed up the uh, pins on the socket, so. No, oh, I've done that. <laughs> I did that on my last computer, and it's still running. <laughs> I don't know how, but. No, well, fortunately for me, I was selling it because I had built a new machine, so. I forgot the winch. There you go. Just waiting for you. I'm coming. I'm trying anyway. I'm running along the railroad tracks here. I'm on the road. This truck isn't slow. Oh, and I appreciate that cameo. Like I said, I told my wife last night. I'm like, well, cameo said we could live on his land if all the, if the poop hits the fan. <laughs> we can't. We don't get any money. We'll just have to get a trailer and a pickup. When we get the pickup lined up, we just need a trailer. But hopefully that won't be the, what happens. But if it is, I'm. it's better than nothing, right? It's better than a cardboard box under a bridge okay. down by the river. Uh, all right, here's the last section of tracks I'm pulling up. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's missing. Go ahead and put it in there, Javius. Well, Mr. Nathan, that's exactly what I built. I do not regret it. Yeah, he's Javius is living proof that AMD rocks. That's right, family size 10, right? Does this train going to come down the tracks or no? We have to send it, I think, in another mission. No, you don't want to do it yet. You, you don't do it. The Sequoia mission first. Okay. Oh, the Sequoia mission. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you all enjoyed that mission. That was a lot of work, man. It took us like three episodes to get that done. And it's okay, because that's how it rolls. But um, we got it. Javius got it. it. Thanks to his logistical brain, he was able to figure out what uh -oh. we needed. And <laughs> You and Mike have got all this steel built on the other map. I, but we, true, but we, got, but we wouldn't have known stuff. what to do if you hadn't told us what we needed. Because we would just be doing little bits instead so anyway i think that was a big success 
I think I found you another mission, Micah. So, as I was saying, ladies and gents, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Man, 31 viewers. Look at that. You guys all came in. And I hope you guys have a great night, all of you. And uh, we will be back. I'll be I'll be streaming something tomorrow night. I'm not quite sure what. And it might be later night because I've got... Eh, no, it probably won't, actually. But I've got Seth and Violet coming over to help tomorrow. So um, we'll, I, I am going to stream, though. But it probably won't be until like 8 or 8.30. Maybe even like 9 or 9.30. So we'll see. But it'll be just a relaxing game tomorrow night. I probably will do hunter or something like that anyway have a great night be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help and um we'll see you guys those on youtube thank for thank you for being here and we'll see you guys all next time you want to say good night guys good night guys good night guys good night everybody bye